Ignitability is the hard one. Ignitability depends on so many different things to get everything just right to ignite something. So we actually have a lot of different tests to look at different ways of igniting things. So we do something called particle impact testing where you look at a particle going really, really fast and when it hits a wall, there's enough energy there, kinetic energy, uh, that gets transferred to that wall that it might ignite that wall. So that's something very frequent we look at. There's a, a test that we do, pneumatic impact testing, where you have basically a gas and you squish it really fast. And when you do that, if you remember your high school chemistry, it gets really, really hot. And that can also ignite maybe something like a plastic that then can have enough heat to ignite something like a metal. So we also look at friction, things rubbing together. Uh, that can produce enough heat to ignite something. We look at sparks, so like when a wire breaks and it sparks, we look at that as an ignition mechanism. And so we look at various different ignition mechanisms to look at ignitability. Now, flammability is, uh, is once you got it ignited, how much does it burn? So we have tests where we give it uh, something that we know for a fact is going to ignite it. So it's definitely on fire. We put basically like a little bomb on one end and it definitely ignites. And once it's going, we look at how far does it burn before uh, it basically goes out by itself. So if we caught something on fire and it burned for three inches and then it went out, we say, oh, that's not that bad. If we caught something on fire and it kept burning, burning until it ran out, we say, okay, we probably want to be careful with that when we take it onto the shuttle or the space station.